All right, so we've moved to a different location here at Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park, and it just gives us a chance to point out this is all new. The older building, which has been here for over 20 years, has been completely redone. Things modern and really workable here at Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park. John, what's your favorite part of the new concept to the buildings? Yeah, first off, thanks to Miss Amy and her family for providing us with, with these resources for our football team and the organization to be able to work and flow in a manner that, that's most productive. You know, I think for me, it's probably the personnel department. We were upstairs for so many years in the old, now refurbished building. Now we're downstairs right around the corner, the draft rooms right around from the coaches. Just from an accessibility standpoint, flow of information, being able to talk with Coach Rabel and his staff throughout the course of the day, it makes it really, really functional. Yeah, really a special place for everybody to work now at Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park. So we're calling this talking ball segment new in 2022. Let's talk about some of the new Titans, including wide receiver Robert Woods. You made the trade for him in March, get him from the Rams. How do you like what you're seeing from number two so far? He's doing a great job. You know, he's came in and, and, and got with the guys and, and got up to speed with our offense. He was coaching guys up in the spring, you know, just about some of the routes and stuff that, that he's ran over his career. You should be able to get that once the transition there. You're going to get him panicking. Just a really, really good addition to our football team. You drafted Traylon Burks and Kyle Phillips to play wide receiver. How do you hope these two rookies can fit in in 2022? Well, I think both of those guys have, have came in and, and at various stages uh, of their time been here have been productive. Traylon has been a little bit more recently, has, you know, his upward tick, but both have made plays in practice. Both have made plays in the preseason games. We're going to lean on both heavily this fall. Burks in the end zone. Touchdown! Two new tight ends. You drafted Chigakonkwo from Maryland. You signed Austin Hooper, the two-time Pro Bowler from Cleveland. How have these two players come in and changed the tight end core? Well, I think, you know, last year Jeff Swaim did a great job for us. It was good to have him back. But, you know, with both Chig and Hoop, both of those guys got up to speed really quickly. With the offense, Hoop's been a trusted uh, target for, for Ryan, dating back to the OTA portion. You know, Chig, as a rookie, has came in and he's picked up our offense well. You can see his speed. He made a couple great catches at practice this week. We're going to lean on that position group because it's such an advantage to, you know, to a football team when they can have tight ends and, and kind of create mismatches when possible. Chig Akakwo for a big six. Two new starting offensive linemen, Nicholas Petit Freer at the right tackle spot. He comes from Ohio State. You drafted him in the third round. And then Aaron Brewer wins the left guard job. What has Brewer done so well in his three years to establish himself now as a starter? Yeah, I mean, Brewer's worked hard every single year. He's, he's played for us. He's always kind of been the sixth or seventh guy. He started games for us in a pinch when we had somebody that couldn't go. He's played two positions. You know, he's kind of took the reins this year at that position at the left guard spot. And he's improved. He's really worked hard with the fundamentals and the details of the all offensive line position. We know we're looking for him to have a good year. Couple of newcomers in the secondary, Roger McCrary, cornerback from Auburn, Nashville native Ugo Amati, who you obtained from Philadelphia. Those guys add to a really talented group of young players in the secondary. What's your hope for the Titans defensive backs this year? Yeah, I mean, that group really has come together. We've got, you know, Christian Fulton played a lot for us last year, and Rogers come in as a rookie and really, he's done great in match coverage. He's been, you know, on point with the calls and zone coverage, where he's supposed to fit the landmarks. You know, Ugo got in here late, but he's kind of played that role before. You know, he kind of fit right in and, and went along with it. You know, we're going to need both of those guys to gel with those guys, play the call, go out, don't let your guy catch the ball and tackle the guy who's got it.